Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to customize worksheets in Odo 16 field service module. In Odo's field service module, a worksheet refers to a document or a form that contains information and instruction for field service, technicians to perform specific tasks or jobs at customer location. It serves as a guide for the technician, detailing the necessary steps, materials and equipment required to complete a service request or assignment. So let's see how to customize a worksheet in Odoo 16 field service module. So first get into the field service module and under configuration settings we can see a feature called custom worksheet which would let you to create and custom worksheet template. So you can save the changes. Now we can uh, custom the worksheet for a project. For that configura under configuration we have projects so let me create a new project here. We can see a project which is already created by Odoo. Now let me give the uh, project name as renovation. And you can also set the customer name and all other details. If you want to give more details regarding the project, you can give it under description and under settings here. Uh, just drag down and we can see worksheet. So here we can see the worksheet template. Either you can uh, just edit the existing worksheet or you can create a new worksheet. So let me create a new worksheet. Now let me get into the installation, I mean uh, worksheet of kitchen installation. If you want to restrict this for a particular company, you can do so and you can also set color highlights. And now let's see how to design a kitchen installation. So in order to design a kitchen installation worksheet, you can just click on design template so that you can uh, add the fields that you want in the worksheet. So here you can see the default uh, worksheet field as comment and I need to change the label as intervention subject and I also need to add many, many more details. So I need to add a selection field like type of intervention so it can be maintenance, repair, or installation. Now we need to change uh, the label. Now I need to add uh, the date of intervention. So let's make it simple and keeping the label as date only. Now I need to add uh, the signature of the employee so that you just can drop and place the label as so we have 10 with the worksheet now. So here you can see the worksheet uh, and now we need to create a task for this worksheet. So go to my task and under task we can create a new task. Let me uh, click on new to create a new task change the project as renovation so as you choose renovation as a project customer will be automatically configured and the worksheet template also will be automatically configured now under description you can give more details regarding the task and under timesheet you can mark the time spent by the uh, employee to complete yeah before that i have skipped one thing if you want to add the sale order item, you can do so. So while going for uh, the field service, the employee will be carrying a few items. So in order to add that few items, just click on the product and you can add uh, the product. So here you can generate uh, the sale order. So these are the items that have carried by the employees during field service and you can see the all. Uh, products with its total price and you can see the uh, sale order and yeah let me uh, back and uh, I mean let me get into the product and increase the on hand quantity you can see that the on hand quantity will be changed and let's make every product available while the employee is going for field service so we are making every product available right now so currently every product is available and yeah that's done after that 
we can complete the worksheet. So you can give the worksheet, uh, I mean, intervention subject as maintenance. You can choose the intervention type and you can also give the date and signature of service provider. So either you can uh, draw a sign or you can load that sign and click on adapt and sign. So we have done. Okay, after that, let me save. And fine. when you save the uh, worksheet here, you can see that currently we have completed the worksheet and before um, yeah, signing the report, we have to set it as marked as done because the employee has completed his uh, task and uh, before creating the invoice, we need to sign, I mean, the customer need to sign the report. So in order to uh, make that, click on sign report and here you can see the project name, sale order and to invoice the time and materials that have used in the field service. The time sheet, uh, which means the time spent by the employee to uh, do, uh, do the work. And under worksheet, we have every details and the signature of the service provider, the follower activities, everything is currently available. Now, the customer can sign this by clicking on the sign button. So either the customer can use the auto sign or he can draw the sign or he can load the sign from his device. Now he can also custom his sign uh, from here. I mean, which uh, means he can also use styles of signs uh, from here. So Odo will suggest a few styles. So let me uh, choose one of the style and uh, set it as a sign by clicking on sign button. So when you drop down here, you can see the sign is placed by the customer. Now uh, you can uh, print or download uh, this uh, and let's back to the edit mode. Now we need to create installation. I mean, uh, now we need to uh, create an invoice. So in order to create invoice, you can just click on create invoices and we are creating regular invoices. So here you can see uh, the products and all other details in the invoice lines with the sale orders and the hours recorded. Now let's confirm that so that this will be moving from draft state to the posted state. And in order to make the payment, you can just click on uh, the register payment and let me choose the journal as bank. You can change the payment method. Um, yeah, uh, I'm choosing the payment method as manual and let's create the payment. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. And this is how we create and customize worksheet. And while a field service, I mean, a service provider is going for a field service, he can uh, keep a worksheet with him to mark um, the progress of the work and uh, the customer can sign the work if he is satisfied with the work. So that's all about the topic. Thank you for watching.